first bit of filament down out of the new machine. There we go. It's up and running, didn't take much. Didn't really have to touch anything to do with settings to get it cranking. So I'll let it go now. Here's the noise from the unit. There's the filament being fed in from the AMS. And there we go, it's outlining the boat. That's the first part of the model. That's exciting stuff. Hopefully it adheres nicely. I've heard these plates are really good. There we go. Tip top, pretty happy with that. Didn't take much at all. It's coming up off the build plate nicely there. No problems with adhesion. As recommended by a lot of people, I gave that plate a quick wipe down with isopropyl alcohol. Get rid of any residue or grease that might be built up on there. I want to do that before every print. It helps to ensure that you're not going to get a failure. AMS is doing a colour change. It's gone out to the back. And we've got the uh, green filament purging there. So shortly it'll uh, start putting out with that green filament. Here it goes. Just taking it off over the block. Things are moving a bit quicker now. Finished with that main base. I'm starting to build up that wall around the top of the boat. Should start happening pretty quick now. We're nearly finished. Here we go, the last few layers to be printed. It's 284 in this one. Like that's it. There we go. Print's coming down. And hopefully we we'll get a little uh, alert on the screen there to say all complete. Notifications come through on my phone from Handy. It says print success. Probably uh, push OK here. There we go, print finish. Nice one. Grab that model out now. Let's see what it takes to remove that print. It's a nice print. So straight out of the box, you see the job you get. It's very smooth. Not many lines there. So pretty happy with that one. So now if I flex that plate a little. Those parts come straight off. Tell you what, she was held on there. So that plate's really good. A little flex. It's easily removed. And that is beautiful. First print from that machine. Absolutely rock solid. And you can't complain with that quality, I tell you. So overall, I'll give that a big thumbs up. The Bamboo Lab P1S. What a ripper. That's what you want. No headaches and no mistakes. So for a first print, that's tip top, nothing to complain about there. Well done Bamboo Lab.
you on top of things here. That print was only the first stage. Still got to print out the life preserver, the cabin and the steering wheel. But for now, we'll test out that little motor that came in the pack and fit it to the model. Here we go, a little clip on the front. Looks like that just goes in this little receptacle here. Clips on. So it's a nice fit there. Beautiful. Give it a wine. There you go. Go give that to the kids, I love that. Put it in the spa. We'll have a test. All right, we're at the hot tub. We'll do the float test. So she's floating all right. Once we get the cab on, put a bit of weight here. Should be fairly level. Let's crank her up. Here's the maiden voyage. Jeez, it's got more go than what I thought. A couple of donuts in the corner. Nice way to finish it off. It's a good little boat. It's got a fair bit of run time for its size. The kids are going to love that. I'm going to get in the spa. I've chosen a stand for a headset that we need to print. For my son, the sort of one on the left there for the PS4 and his headset that he got for Christmas. I've downloaded that file, it only cost me $3. And now I've taken over to the slicer. We're nearly ready to go, I've changed a few things. Hopefully got that blue filament feeding in. I'll send that to the print plate. Blue filament added, it's translucent blue. That's a Sunlu roll. I selected generic PLA. I'll give that a test. I've given the bottom of the model a bit of a rough base. That's that green outline there. They say to do this just to give it a bit better adhesion for this model. Click send and see what happens. Says down the bottom there. The time used for the print. Everything's firing up. I'll come up and start doing the bed leveling. We'll check that first layer and make sure things are going to work. It's all new to me, so I'm not sure I've gone about the process the correct way, but we'll soon find out. That's another success. Everything's going really well today. Transfer that file over, put in the slicer, change the colors, added the base that was recommended in the reviews. And I downloaded that file. Everything's coming along really well. That generic PLA from Sunlu seems to be printing perfectly. So uh, happy with that. There's the file. It's coming up off the build plate now. Looks good. We'll have a look once that's finished. It's going to be five hours. It's not too bad. I tell you what, the little fella's going to love it. Just to hang up his new headset that he got for Christmas and those handsets. Fits two controllers on there. Stops that headset from getting ruined. Gives it a place to live. It's about 43 minutes to go. The print's still looking really good. That nice diamond pattern comes through. 
due to that translucent material. So just the headset rest now to bring out the back. A little lug in the front for the second control mount. Very happy with the finish. Let's take a look at what we got. So pretty good quality, I reckon. We don't practice at all. So the printer's done all the work. And thanks to the guy that created the file. I'll probably post that on the page. I don't even know how good it turned out. Now hopefully I don't break this. No worries, came off too easy. Take those supports off, and we'll be good to go. Pretty nice clean print, tiny little string there, it's nothing really. Very happy, nice and smooth. Not too many lines anywhere. I don't think it could have gone much better. Nothing to do to the model really, except for remove that extra base I used so that uh, it didn't come away from the plate while it's uh, being created. In those holes, I was a bit worried they weren't going to form too cleanly, but. Uh, even fairly nice under there. It's only a tiny bit of roughness, but nothing to worry about when it's sitting on a uh, on the shelf like that. It's a pretty nice fit with the controllers. Headset sits nicely on the back as well. Pretty happy with that. Got the balance point right. Those lugs are perfect pretty much. Sit in there, hold them in. It's done a really great job with that file, I'll tell you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you be happy with that on your shelf? I'm pretty happy with it.